Hello, hope everybody is well. So today we are going to talk about portal branding and customization, both in the Azure portal and in Endpoint Manager Intune. So this is to give your users visibility of your company branding from the company portal app, Endpoint devices using the app. Your sign-in page is also appear when users sign into your organization's web-based app, such as Microsoft 365, which uses Azure AD as your identity provider. We will also take a quick look at Android phone devices and some enrollment options. As always, please subscribe to the channel for future posts on topics on cloud technical guides and certification. Thank you. So let's take a look at what's covered in this video. So we will go for Azure portal and endpoint manager branding and customization. We will take a look at the company portal once that branding and customization is in place. We will look at branding on an Android phone and review this together with the different enrollment options. And we will take a look at hiding the remove and reset button within the company portal itself. So first off, let's take a look uh, into where we brand our company logos within the Azure portal. So let's go into uh, Azure Active Directory, Company Branding, and then if we select Default. Here we can select our sign-in page background image. Uh, note uh, the image size required. We will select our banner logo, where you can also provide a username hint that appears uh, to users if they forget their username. So this text must be Unicode without links or code and can't exceed 64 characters. You can include a sign-in page text if required. So this can contain a legal statement or help desk details or whatever you wish to communicate back to your users. This text must be Unicode and not exceed 1024 characters. Under advanced settings, we can provide background color here in hexadecimal color. We select a square logo image of your organization's logo to appear to users during the setup process for new Windows 10 enterprise devices. We can also select the option to show option to remain signed in. So this is where you can select to let your users remain signed in to Azure AD until they're signed out. When selecting no, this dialogue is not displayed and hidden to the user. Users must sign in each time the browser is closed and reopened. So that's the Azure portal branding configured. Now let's log in and take a look and see what this looks like. The background image fills the whole browser's viewable space together with the banner logo on the login page and the remain sign in dialog appears um, as an option as this was selected as shown in the banner configuration. So within Endpoint Manager under Tenant Admin, we can edit our default customization policy. So we type our organization name, and then we can either select a standard theme color from the list, or in this case, we will select custom and add in our um, hex for a white background. We will show in the header or logo that we will now upload together with the organizational logo and name. We upload our logo brand images for the different types of color backgrounds available. We can add in support information here, such as name, phone, email address, and we will just add our website name and URL here for now. Next, we will look at device enrollment options available here. If device enrollment is set to unavailable, the device will not be able to enroll using out of the box setup and using the company portal app. You can also add privacy statement URL to appear here as well. For device ownership notification, we can send push notifications when there are device ownership changes. This is for Android or iOS only. For app sources, this feature allows end users to see both Configuration Manager and Intune deployed applications within the company portal app. So we will show both of these here. 
The last part here is about hiding what's available and shown to end users in the company portal app and website. We will leave these as default for now, but later on, we will look to lock down the company portal by hiding the reset button, which also removes uh, the remove button. So users can't uh, remove or reset their corporate Windows 10 devices within the company portals. So once we have saved our config, there's a link in the top right hand corner to preview customization on the company portal website. So let's click this link and take a look. We can see on the portal.manage.microsoft.com website, our branding organization logo and name is visible together with any recent published apps. Also under help desk, we have uh, listed our website URL for users. Let's now log into a Windows 10 device and take a look at the company portal application that's already been installed. We can see that we have the same branding shown together with any recent published applications. We will now take a look at the enrollment settings and branding through the company portal app. When we edit the customization policy, we can see we have three options. We can make this available with or without prompts or make it unavailable for users to enroll. If we now switch to our Android phone and with the company portal app already installed, we can sign in to gain access to resources and applications. We can see our branding is shown with the logos uploaded earlier within the policy. MFA is configured here, so we approve our sign in request. We then have access to the company app where we would need to then publish applications in Endpoint Manager. There are also device restriction options in Endpoint Manager. So if we go under Devices, Enroll Devices, Enrollment Restrictions, and, uh, and under All Users, Properties, and Edit Platform Settings. So we have device type restrictions here for various platforms and OS types. So we could block Android here, for example, and even limit to minimum and maximum versions. We can edit and increase the device limit restrictions per user. So in the company portal app under devices, the user by default has the option to remove or reset their corporate Windows 10 devices from Endpoint Manager. So in the company portals, as we can see here, the option is available. Let's now edit the policy and lock this down. So we tick hide reset button on corporate Windows devices. So we need to sync this change in policy to our device. Once that's synced, we can now see that the actions that were available before to remove or reset is now grayed out to the user to stop them from performing this action on their devices. So thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel to receive updates on new videos posted weekly. All the very best. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye for now.